Hello, and welcome. In this video, I'll be talking about the rerun characters for 1.6, and what characters we can expect to be rerunning for 2.0. First off, let me say that I was fully expecting to see Jingyuan in 1.6, with Kafka being a close second. But now, with there being double reruns, Kafka is literally coming out second. And to quickly touch on Jingyuan, there are some rumors out there on why his rerun was being pushed back for so long, and I'll get into that later on. But let's get into 1.6 and their reruns. On the first banner, along with Rune Mei, we have Blade. I feel this was a good choice for this banner, because Blade is now starting to get outshined by the newer DPS limited banner characters. He is still a great character and works well with a lot of teams. He's probably the best DPS in the double DPS composition with Jing Liu and Rune Mei. But I feel in 2.0, we will start to see an even larger gap in power from those new units compared to what Blade can bring to the table. So what I'm essentially saying is the Blade hype is probably on the lower end. But Rune Mei's hype has been astronomical, and her alone can carry this banner and its sails through the roof. And yes, I am solely basing my reasons off of financial gain for Hoyoverse. Because they, like any successful company, wants to increase profits and reduce risk. And that's exactly what I feel they have done by placing Blade on Rune Mei's banner. Let's talk about Kafka on the second half with Dr. Ratio. Dr. Ratio, for those who don't know, and let's be honest, you all probably know this by now, he is going to be given to us for free in 1.6 on the second half. Honkai Star Rail won Mobile Game of the Year and is rewarding us with a limited banner 5 star. He actually does seem like a strong character, but unfortunately is a hunt character whose general path I feel needs some work or redesign. That paired with him being a free unit and also having subpar 4 stars on his banner, I feel this banner's hype level is going to be on the lower end. But how will Mihoyo ever make money off of this? You guessed it, throw Kafka on that banner. Kafka is one of the more hyped characters in Hongai Star Rail. She is the first character you see out of the gate playing her violin as destruction goes on around her. Oh, and it doesn't hurt that many want her for her waifu status. So all those reasons alone could be enough for someone to want to pull on her. But is she still good? The answer to that is very much yes. And she's only about to get better with the release of Black Swan, who has been drip marketed to us conveniently before Kafka's rerun. Black Swan will be a 5 star Nihility character, so there's a good chance she will have some very strong dots. And Kafka is designed in a way where she is more powerful based on how strong your team's dots are. So yeah, she is going to be amazing. And if you are wanting to make a dot team, you better start saving, because you need her and Black Swan. Alright, finally, let's talk 2.0 banners. We know we are going to have Sparkle. And because she is a Harmony and Quantum unit, those who have been wanting to make their mono quantum teams a reality are beyond excited. But in general, she will probably be amazing for every character like how Rune Mei is. Her hype level will be S tier, if not already. Then the other new character is Black Swan, who will probably do amazing damage and will be wanted by any Kafka enjoyer. Okay, prediction time. I'm going to predict that the first half of 2.0 will be Sparkle and Jing Yuan, and the second half will be Black Swan and Locha, and here's why. For the first banner, we have a 5 star Harmony character, and I'm going to say Harmony is one of the most desired 5 stars right now, and maybe for all time. And I am sure Hoyoverse wants to open with a bang for 2.0. She will pair well with Jing Yuan, as he unfortunately is on the lower end of the hype train. In fact, we may see more people hyped about his light cone than pulling for the actual character. Also, he is so far overdue for a rerun, it's silly at this point. But why did Hoyoverse take so long to re-release Jing Yuan? The rumor is that this banner should land right around Chinese New Year, and he being part of the Shanshu Lo Fu makes his theme spot on for the re-release of this time. And really, the longer they wait to re-release him, the worse his sales will be, with all the new 2.0 characters being dropped. The second half will have Black Swan and Locha. I feel Locha is our best bet because it would have been a full patch and a half since we have seen a sustained 5-star option. And at this time, I've seen a pattern with sustained units. So far, every other banner, we have had a sustained 5 star. So unless they break this pattern now, we should have Locha on the second half of 2.0. If I am mistaken on this, and they want a whole month to celebrate the new year, we will see Dan Hung and Biber Lune re-rand. But I can't imagine they do this and let so many banners go by without a 5 star sustain unit. That's all for this video. And I apologize for my sick voice. 
but I appreciate you all watching this so far, and I wish you all luck on your 50-50s.